Welcome back to our Temi Day in Creatures 3 and Docking Station. We're finally back. <laughs> and since it's been so long, I'm just going to resume it and let everybody kind of live in the background. In the meantime, I have let these Norns and Grendels age a little bit. Uh, we've had a couple of extra pregnancies along the way, some deaths unfortunately, but that's the way that Creatures works. Luckily, we have a pretty happy population that's doing pretty well. And they've all grown up, um, sort of on this side, that we, we just passed a bunch that have sort of made their own group here in our Temia Sea. All the way on the other side, we'll pass a couple of our Temia Grendels along the way, who seem to kind of be patrolling those waters. Uh, then we have another group that sort of separated itself, and they are located over here. The main thing to notice with these Norns is that there are actually only a couple of females, and mostly males which makes my job a little bit easier, at least with these ones, because there are not too many pregnancies going on. I've actually thought about possibly restarting this world, um, keeping all the parameters the same, except changing up the genetics of the starting Norns and Grendels, because they do. They are prolific at having a lots and lots of children, which really overpopulates the world, and although in Creatures Docking Station, usually you kind of have a documentary type feel. There's not a lot of connections with everybody, at least for me. I still like to keep the numbers at a reasonable level, so they're not just a number. I kind of sort of know these Norns, um, not as much as when I play Creatures 1. But, you know, I recognize some of these guys, and it's kind of a shame that just to have a bunch just swimming around and not really getting to know them. So that's a consideration, but for now, no changes. It's actually down here in the deep abyss that we have a lot of pregnancies. For whatever reason, these ones are just very friendly. <laughs> and we have a nice mix here. If you'll remember, we started off with Norns who could not swim, who were in this room, and only by using the teleporter from Artemia Sea could anybody actually get in here and bring some swimming genetics into this area? So we have a couple, you can see a color true pearl mermaid Norn in here. Uh, there's a couple actually. And we have a few mixes, both in this generation and the next one. So I'm kind of interested in those Norns and those mixes, which is why I have not made the decision to start over with anybody just yet. But after spending about an hour hatching and exporting a bunch of eggs, I think it turned out to be 30 at one point. It's a little much, so <laughs> it's more a consideration for myself. And then we will head over to where we have the biggest change here in the past seas. Uh, there were actually two Norns who braved this. They traveled here and met these just lovely Grendels. And unfortunately, they met a violent end eventually. Uh, I thought that they were all getting along well, but as you can hear and see, these Grendels are not, <laughs> they're not very peaceful. Uh, it, it really, um, it's difficult for anyone else to get along with them. And actually, we did lose an adult one. He actually passed away from old age, as far as I could tell. He did not pass away from violence, thank goodness. We're going to jump out of here in a second, but just wanted to introduce these two, who are full sisters. And they come from, both parents actually passed away. So they're not first generation ones, they are bred um, from another generation. Uh, and you can see that there's a bunch of different color changes with them. Oh my goodness, did you just kill him? I... Oh, you did. Thank you, lovely lady. She has just killed him. When I said that they actually get along with one another, clearly that's not 100% correct. So unfortunately, there he goes. And that actually takes out the last male Banshee Hydralisk in this world. Um, if you've followed along with the other videos, you'll know that we usually don't spend too much time in this area because they are very violent. Um, and I'm not really a big fan of them <laughs> slapping so much. I do understand their genetics and the whole purpose of having them was to have uh, a natural danger in this world, but they are turning into uh, a little much for me. <laughs> so I may hold off on hatching a male. Um, I just, I'm not quite sure exactly what I want to do with them. They've, they're almost too dangerous, although they fit the bill perfectly. It's exactly what they're supposed to do. But for now, they're nice and quiet. We're going to leave them and hopefully 
they get along. <laughs> now everywhere else, the Norns, they can be violent with one another, they'll slap one another from time to time, but most of the time they get along well. Uh, there was one incident where a couple of Norns ended up killing an Artemia Grendel over here, and that was very sad because Artemia Grendels are very peaceful. There's no reason they don't fight at all. Um, and it was just one of those tragic things that just happens. And it does get a little getting used to. I remember I was so used to Creatures 1 where a Norn could feel pain, but there wasn't actually a threshold for ha ha having wounds or injuries and actually dying from that. So this is more realistic. Uh, but it's also not as nice. <laughs> so we'll spend some time with these Norns because they're a little more positive and happy and... Well, I shouldn't say that because this is actually the group that <sighs> killed that Grendel, but, you know, we'll put that in the past for now. And let's focus on little Scallop Spinaccia. She's, <laughs> she's an interesting mix. You can tell that her body parts don't quite match up, but she gets along just fine. And she seems to be trying to say something about me, but I did not teach them the language, mainly because those familiar with Creature's Docking Station will know that they can kind of fall into loops of just talking back and forth, talking about, you know, who likes one Norn, and then I like, I dislike that Norn, and they'll go back and forth uh, seemingly forever. So that's the reason why they haven't learned the language. And I know that there are some more updated genetics that have been created and released. And I'm thinking that maybe at some point we may restart this world just to have an um, not an increased, a decreased number of Norns and Grendels, actually. <laughs> but also to have some improvements in their genetics so that they can kind of live a little bit better in terms of maybe understanding the language without falling into those loops. And also not overpopulating the entire world in a few minutes. <laughs> we have some nice mixes on this end. Oh, and we have somebody who's kind of up at the surface, exploring. We will dive back down. And I'm actually amazed that we haven't had any other pregnancies. It was a span there where one was happening probably every two minutes. But I can't complain. <laughs> everybody here seems nice and quiet. Let's go and check on everybody down here in the deep abyss. And if you saw my last update, uh, not video update, but just regular update, this is what I was kind of using as the makeshift nursery up here. Uh, it's kind of segregated from everybody else, so the baby Norns didn't really enter the population, but it's also underwater. Uh, because unfortunately with this last generation, I imported a bunch and they died very quickly. And I'm fairly certain that was from my own fault of hatching the eggs on land. So, bad mistake by me, but hopefully I've learned my lesson. <laughs> and apparently we are very nice and quiet for this update. I guess they're mad about not being in the spotlight for a while. <laughs> Let's just double check everybody on the other side of Artemia Sea. See how they're doing. And not much else to report, it seems. Which is good. Stay away from the guys, Colorless Alfaro. <laughs> well, with that, I think we will end it here. But there will be many more Artemi Day updates in the future, and we'll see what happens with the population and what I end up deciding to do with the Norns and Grendels. As always, feel free to comment or share your feedback. I always appreciate it, and thank you for watching!